So you have to listen to me for about a minute of trying to talk without moving. So here's the story. Uh, I have a few of these Bluetooth beacons. I bought them because I wanted the microcontroller that's on them. It's the same microcontroller that's in the R unit and BB unit droids from Galaxy's Edge. Um, because mine, the one in this BB unit here, was going bad, so I was going to replace it with one I took from one of these modules. But I ordered a bunch of them because I figured I'd probably break one or two. I didn't. The first one worked, so now I have a couple of spares to play with, which is what's going on here. Um, the Bluetooth module is uh, a WT51822. You can search for that on eBay or AliExpress and you'll find them. They usually go US sellers. They're probably around $4 a pop. If you buy them from China, they're usually about 2 50 to 3 bucks a pop. And they are essentially Bluetooth beacons. You can connect to them via a serial connection, send commands to it to tell it what data to broadcast. And uh, after you disconnect it, after you remove power from it, it remembers those settings. And you can go and hook it up to, say, a, a small 3-volt coin cell battery. And you have yourself a very small Bluetooth beacon that will last for almost a week. This thing draws very little power. Uh, so on one little coin cell battery, it'll last about a week. And then I decided I wanted to make that last longer. For example, if you put this beacon up in your home, well, during the middle of the night, it's no use to you. Why, why waste all that electricity? So I've added here a passive infrared sensor. That's the thing with the white dome on the breadboard here. And I've hooked up that red LED to turn on when the infrared sensor, the, the it's a motion detector, when the motion detector uh, detects motion. And when it detects motion, it's also sending power to the Bluetooth module. But when, when it's off, there's no power going to the Bluetooth module. So the only power being consumed right now is about 8 microamps. It's an incredibly tiny amount of electricity being used by that passive infrared sensor. And as soon as I move my hand, it's going to trigger. The LED will turn on. The Bluetooth module will, will turn on. And the BB unit here is going to start talking. So here we go. There it is. It's active. <laughs> so now what I want to do is take this circuit that I have here. And I'm going to design a PCB so I can put all of it on the PCB, including a battery holder for a, a coin cell battery. Right now it's hooked up to a my bench power supply, but uh, it does run on 3 volts. I've already tested it. That's actually what the bench power, ply, power supply is uh, running at right now. And this, in theory, could give you a Bluetooth beacon that your droid will react to. Um, one that will last for weeks, maybe months, depending on how long you're, or how often you walk by it. So that's kind of cool. I will be sharing more when the PCBs come back and I assemble one and we test it out to see if it actually works or not, because to be honest, I designed it and ordered the PCBs before I tested the circuit. Now the circuit works and it's a very simple circuit, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if uh, it works, the actual PCB I designed works, or if it uh, if uh, we don't see some sparks and smoke when I power it up for the first time. So that's all. That's all I wanted to show. Just something I came up with and started working on the past couple of days. The motion-activated droid. <laughs>